UBF Nemesis Handicap Hurdle is next. Uh, we've got a very, very small field for this one. It's a 0 to 100 2 mile 5 furlongs, and I think there's only four in it. And it's Overcast Ransom at the top for Thomas Rogers. Energy Crime. Energy Crime for James Shea. Glisk for Marty Leader and Sablazzo Dribble for Alex Cherry. So just four in this then and one of those shouldn't be in it really because I've put Glisk in this and Glisk was going to go one of the two mile chases but I saw this and thought well you know what I've a chance of winning this it's not really a hurdle but uh, we'll see what happens probably come fourth but that's probably better than he would have come in the two miler over the fences so opportunities there to you get a chance to have a look later on I did my interest on Thursday last week and put him in a two mile handicap chase, a quick look on Friday afternoon and diverted him to this. Whether it will pay or not, I don't know, but uh, if we ever stop the helicopter, I will find out. Uh, there we go, and away we go in. And it's Overcast Ransom who's going to be the first to show. From Glisk on the outside in second, and some Blatso Trouble, and finally Innery Crime. So this is one of the races that would have been. Nice to have had the automated commentator on and instead of having to listen to me waffle, the automated commentator didn't get his button pressed this week. Uh, so that's why you had to put up with Stu Leon and me on all the races. And didn't get any break. Anyway, it's overcast ransom who's in the loop, getting down to the second. Ennery Cron in second, then Glisk is third and Sablazzo Trouble is fourth. So payday for all, if they get round. And with it being a hurdle, there's every possibility that they will. And I think later on in the day, uh, Stu takes over. I think Stu's got a couple of races. I think he's got a four miler with about three in it, I think. So I don't know whether we need to have a little bit of a look at some of these races next season, or maybe we've just got a funny balance this year. But anyway, it's difficult to know what to do. When you're commentating on these, do you just shut up and let people get on with it, or do you try and fill the gaps up with words? I don't know. Anyway, Overcast Ransom's in the lead. Henry Crime is second, so Blatso Trolls third, Blisk is fourth. Anyway, judging by the inactivity on the forum these days, I'm not really sure anybody's watching, so they get to number four, and over that one they go. Well, we know Jim Murray isn't, anyway, he told us as much last week. Overcast Ransom is in the lead, from Henry Crime second, so Blatso Trolls third, and Glisk fourth. I guess we've got an audience of three for this. The three trainers who are participating in the race, and me. No, I don't count because I'm compensating. So anyway, it's Overcast Ransom in the lead. Ennery Crime second. Sablazzo Trouble third. Glisk fourth. Past the winning post circuit to go. I suppose the way we'll find out whether anybody's watching it is to uh, see if anybody, anybody picks up on any comments, I suppose. But anyway, it's Overcast Ransom in the lead. Ennery Crime second. Sablazzo Trouble third. Glisk is fourth. All pretty pedestrian so far as they get to the seventh. Bit of a slow jump by Sablazzo Trouble. And they're coming down towards the next. And there's every possibility, of course. Alex Cherry's a race runner. He may have run this race. So he might not even be watching it. So there might only be two people watching this. Anyway, Overcast Ransom is in the lead. Henry Crime is second. Oh, there they go. Glisk jumped it well at the back. Overcast oh, Ransom leads Henry Crime second. So that's our draw third. Glisk fourth. Seven furlongs to go. Let's see if I was over the ninth thing. If I was a bit more like still, I'd be talking about the trees and the hills and the local wildlife. Not, well, not anyway. It's Henry Crime in the lead. Overclass Ransom second. It's a Blatso Trouble third. Glisk fourth. Over that one, they all go. Henry Crime, the new leader. Overclass Ransom, they've been drawn up on the inside to retake that lead. And it's a Blatso Trouble back in third. And Glisk 
looks like the plan is working, he's going to be fourth. And Overcrash runs him in the lead then, Enery Crime second, so Blatso Trouble third, and the Chase and Glisk a good way back in fourth. Enery Crime back in the lead then, just three furlongs to go now. Concentrate on the front three. Jockey on Enery Crime, a little look round then. He thinks he's got plenty of horse underneath him, but Sablato Trouble is still alongside. These two look to have it between them. Overcast runs him just dropping away in third, and now Sablato Trouble's gone on. Coming down towards the second last. Over that one, Sablato Trouble is clear from Henry Crime. Overcast runs him, and coming down towards the final flight, Sablato Trouble skips over it. And it's quickly gone now, four or five down, and put this one to bed. And it's Sablato Trouble who's going to take the four on a handicap hurdle. Thank goodness they didn't jump the water jump. The Blatso Dribble wins it from, from Overcast Ransom, Enery Crime, and finally Glisk. Maybe I should have left in the chase. Oh, there you go. Winner for Alex Cherry. Let's take a full look. See what you've got for your trouble. Uh, Sablazzo trouble the winner then for Alex Cherry. Overcast Ransom second for Thomas Rogers. Henry Crime for James Show was third. And Glisk was fourth, picking up a handy thousand quid for just trotting around at the back.